show. I can't believe it. It's starting in three, two, one. Let's go. Drama. <coughs> oh. I may die. Oh. The way it opens. Just like my reactions, of course. <laughs> what is that? What the frick is this? Catch <gasps> No! No! Catra saving Adora! Hey, Adora! Oh, hey, Adora, come on! It's too dangerous! Shit, which side are we over here? Oh my god! Full circle, where everything started with the three of them! I'll catch up, okay? Get to the heart! Catra, don't sacrifice yourself! No, Catra! 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 Wow, th that visual, those visuals of the tentacles, that's like a metaphor for the hive mind, right? What's wrong, baby girl? I've never felt better. No! <laughs> it's Glimmer confronting her dad. Come on, no! <sighs> Boom! <sighs> They're all separated, Adora, Glimmer, and Bo, best friend squad, and Katra as well. Part of the best friend squad, of course. Come on. No! no. Please, please! It's me! It's Glimmer! It's your baby girl, Micah! The weakling. The failure. No, no! The failure, no! No, no, no. And so it ends. Alone. Shut up. We. Horror Prime, no. Stop it. Oh, no! Let's go! You're... Oh, that music, that soundtrack of. Oh, that was the end of her mysteries. My mother raised me to be brave. Yes! My friends taught me to be kind. I'm stubborn. I get that from you. I will never stop fighting, and I won't lose another parent! Let's go! Let's freaking go! Whoa. Save your dad! I love you. Oh, I love the way the... It saved. She saved. He saved, right? Yes! Cinema. I can't believe this finale is outdoing the, the destiny. This show is actually nailing it. Oh my god. The use of the uh, mysteries track of the end of that episode. Got it. <gasps> no! <sighs> Scorpio, it's okay. The heart. <sighs> Ooh. All I need you to do. Is trust me. Come on, Scorpia, come back to your senses. Trust. Let's go. Yes. Oh, let's go. Oh, Bo being the link there, you know, between Entrapped and Scorpia as well. That's beautiful. Yes. 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 Huntera. <laughs> Oh, I missed you. Let's go, everyone over here, and also everyone. Let's go. Yes. And Trapta hacking the system. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Let's go. <laughs> Me luck. Ah, my device worked. I knew it would. She's a genius. Deploy all clone battalions. Get this. Under control! Ooh. Hey everyone, I'm Bo. Prime is probably <laughs> <the best> <laughs> <chance> <laughs> back. so badass. Prime's controlled the universe for a long time. We're the only thing standing in the way of him controlling it forever. You might be feeling hopeless. Oh, his dad so proud of him. <sighs> so many of them. We're not afraid of him because we have each other. Yes. We have love. Community, unity, you, you guys together. And if we go down, 
we go down together. Assemble. Time to take back our world. Let's go. It's time to fight. Yes. For Shira, for our home, <laughs> and for each other. This is the best bow moment of the show. That was so freaking good. That was bow in his core. Yes. This mockery. Destroy them all. No! <laughs> Look at Katra. Oh God. I'm sweating. I'm freaking shaking. <laughs> no, shut up. Shut up. No, don't let him go into your mind. Oh, it reminds me of Shadow. We were also taking over Catra in a, in a previous episode. So close. Ah, that was too much. Shadow Weaver, you're gonna help. No! I'm... <laughs> you have to understand that Adora cares for Catra. Come on, let's save Catra and. <sighs> Risking yourself for Adora. What is... is she gonna mix? What is she gonna do? Is she gonna sacrifice? Your Adora will die. No! Your Adora! He keeps insisting with your Adora. Tell me, little sister. No! No! Worth it. No! No! Let's freaking Shadow Weaver? Whoa! Let's freaking go! I can't believe you're doing this! I can't believe you're doing this! Oh my god! Shadow Weaver! Take a door and run! Oh. What? Why? What are you? I told you to run! Now run! <sighs> oh. <laughs> You need to make sure Dora reaches the heart. The magic must be set free. <laughs> She's gonna sell. I can't believe I'm freaking feeling for Shadow Weaver. Stop it! It's going to kill you. It's too late for me. Oh. This is only the beginning for you. Wow. So proud of you, Catra. That. I can't believe this happened. God, the mask. I feel a lot, and sometimes it's horrible, but sometimes it's awesome. And it feels good when I can accept it. I'm speechless. I ca I can't. Oh my god. Oh. Wrong. Oh, double trouble. What the? F <laughs> I thought it was wrong. Hordak. What? <laughs> Making a final appearance here. I love them. You don't understand what makes us strong, oh. and that's why you'll never win. Yes. I'm sweating so much. I'm sweating so much. <sighs> Oh, look at their look at their faces. Look at the stares between each other. Whoa. This is the freaking. <sighs> ah. Help. Ah. Together. To... I can't believe Shadow Weaver sac. I can't believe Shadow Weaver sacrificed herself. She really loved them. Her own way, but she loved them. Uh, the way her voice trembles. It's Prime's virus. It's keeping me from becoming Shira. Is the failsafe not going to work without her? No. It'll work. Oh, Adora, Adora, Adora. No, 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 no. Look at these visuals. Oh my god. 
I have to do this next part on my own. No, stop. What is going to happen to you? Oh my god, this is a parallel to season three finale. I'm sorry, Ketra. I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. It has to end here. I can still save everybody. No. I'm ready. No, no. No. Ketra. No. Stop, stop. Whatever happens, I am staying with you. <laughs> Yes, we're gonna stay with each other. That's gonna it's, it's gonna kill Adora. No, 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 no. The heart is the heart is racing faster. Oh my god! It's too much. It's it's too much power, right? No. Wow! That, that's... Wow, everybody has that sense of self-destruction. It's just so intense. Everything was as it should be. Kill Horror Prime! Horror like it's your moment! It's your moment! And so it shall be again. Oh, it trapped him! My baby! Do it now! Come on, Ro come on, Hordak! <laughs> yes! Let's go! Yes, Hordak, my boy. I am not your brother. <gasps> you made me in your image, but I am more than that. I gave myself a name. <laughs> yes. And I made a friend. Oh, uh, more than a friend. More than a friend. I'm Hordak, <gasps> and I defy your will. The parallel. <gasps> <laughs> Oh, Prime! <laughs> wait, 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 no, 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 no! No! You have both of my hands. I will unleash the heart. In cleansing flame together! Oh, Campbell, no! What? I'm sweating so f much. No, 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 no. Does that mean Hordak? <sighs> the music is going so hard. Into darkness you shall be plunged. The world will end in fire. The failsafe. It didn't work. No, no what? What? At last. Look at this! Etheria is falling apart. I, I, I Adora, stay away. <sighs> Come on, guys, you can do this. Adora! <sighs> System stable. Water? What is she? She's beautiful. She looks so beautiful. Just let me brush it. No. <laughs> 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 Come on, guys. If we're late to start oh, this first wall, she's gonna kill us. <laughs> Glimmer and Borg together, and you're off the hook this time. This is a, this is what could have been, right? A what if situation. You coming? A beautiful wish. No, no, Adora, Adora. Please, you have to wake up. Oh, <laughs> I have so many things in my mind. You have never given up on anything in your life, even on me. So oh, don't you dare start. <gasps> Promise the soundtrack. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> no, I failed. No, stop with the failure. I'm not letting go. Just like a door I couldn't let go. Don't you get it? I love you. Oh, I love you. <laughs> so please, just this once. Stay. Come on. Stay. 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 
yes, stay. Oh, <gasps> she protected them. She protected the Dora. Uh, Katra, I'm serious. Uh, uh, my mind is insane. You love me. Yes. <laughs> You're such an idiot. <laughs> Oh, yes! Yes! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Let's repeat that one more time, considering it's 3 a.m. and my neighbors are sleeping. Again. 3 in the morning. <gasps> yes! Let's go! <laughs> The power of love, look at them, so beautiful! No, but... Fuck you! Look at- oh my god, no! Gotta stop, let's go! Yes! Yeah, fuck you! Whoa, what? Synchronizing. Oh, it's like those sparkles that... Like the essence of Etheria, right? Like magic of Etheria. Oh, it's Yura. Yes, yes, yes. It makes so much sense. What Ras taught Mara. Yes, connecting with nature and all. Etheria. Shira's part of Etheria. Woo! Let's go. Damn. Yes, now with the power of loving Katra and having that mutual feeling, of course, that's gonna empower her even more. This is the best show ever made. This is the best show ever made. <laughs> Let's go. Yes, the power of green will... T that's ironic. The power of green takes over you, or Prime. <laughs> of grass. I love this new soundtrack. Prime shall rise again. Shut she up. Uh, <laughs> go away, dude. Time's up. It's time for you to go. Yes. Oh, is she gonna heal? What is she gonna do? Like. What? What? Back to Hordak? Oh! Hordak remembered! Oh! I remember you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, yes! Oh! Glimmer? Yes! Hi, Dad. Oh! I... Yes, now you get to have a dad. Hello, I'm your dad. <laughs> 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 yes, that that kiss, that awesome Spinnerella. You look great. <gasps> the long awaited reunion? Look, I. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, of course, Scorpia. You know I'm a hugger. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Mermista. Yes. Finally admit that you like Seahawk. So are we all just like okay with this? <laughs> Scorpia is the has the purest heart. Of course, she's gonna be so forgiving. Etheria in its purest form, thanks to Adora being in her purest form. Right? It's like a mirror of Adora's mental state, a state of mind. Adora is at peace, blooming right now with Katra. You'd be proud, Mara Divi. Oh, <laughs> even Raz has it. <laughs> oh, even Raz has her final scene. It's over. Yes, yes, Son. yes. Good riddance. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Look at them all! Best friend squad. We can bring magic back to the universe. What do you guys say to one more best friend squad road trip? Oh, yes. Let's do this. Together. I can't believe this is the end. I need more! I need more! Help!
This was fucking beautiful. This was so... This was amazing. Hell with it. Hell with it. This is my favorite show ever. This is my favorite show ever right now. Can't believe they nailed it. I can't, I can't believe they nailed it. I can't believe. I feel exhausted. I'm, I'm, I'm sweating and I'm shaking. Wow. I can't turn the door. I can't turn the door together. Yes. 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 I'm, I'm blown away by this show. I, I can't believe, can't believe a show like this exists. This was the best finale of, of any season of she And I want to, 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 to process my emotions and go to sleep because this is right, right now. I think it's. 4 a.m. It's 4 a.m. in the morning. It's 4 a.m. My neighbors are gonna ha are hating me right now. I think. Thank you. Thank you so much for your support. It's been an incredible journey. This has been one of the most um, emotionally satisfying journeys I've ever had watching a show. Just how much it rocks me to the core. I want this show to stay with me forever. <laughs> So, this is really hard. I have quite a few notes. I want to talk more about this show with you in the comments, for sure. There's just so much to appreciate and to debate about in a, you know, proper manner, please, civilized. But I mean it when I say this is my favorite show. Shira and the Princesses of Power deserves to be in the conversation of one of the best shows ever made. It has shook me to the core. I really do believe this is my favorite final season Ever. There are many great final seasons out there. Some of my favorites are also the final season of Friends, the final season of Breaking Bad, the final season of Avatar Last Airbender. As a Legend of Korra defender myself, like, hardcore, I do believe the Legend of Korra final season deserves to be up there as well. In terms of animation, I feel like Shira just might be the very best one out there. It just spoke to me. These characters were taken to a whole different level, exquisite, in the exploration of the human condition, mainly through Catra and Adora. First of all, there are things that I really wanted to see more. I don't have really any complaints about this show. If anything, I just would have liked to have seen more overall of certain aspects. The final season of Shira is the one season in the show that would have been most benefit from being the longest one. I really do believe that the scope the show is covering with this final season and the conflict at stake, I feel like just a little bit more time and space and especially a lot more time in Etheria once they return from that space odyssey basically, would have just provided a lot more depth to the characters even. I was so weirded out when I was editing the reactions the lack of Bright Moon and the Fright Zone, especially considering how those were the two main locations of the first four seasons. The Fright Zone episode, I think it would have benefited from being a two-parter, especially because this was the place in which we see Catra's downfall. If there was an episode focusing on having like a dark conflict battle with Scorpia, maybe I don't know how that would have gone because Scorpia would be way overpowered over Katra in scenes like that. We, we saw that in Return of the Fright Zone episode. But I would have liked to have seen more of that conflict. What we got was minimal. Really would have liked to have seen Katra returning to the throne room, for example, as well. Reminding herself of the progress that she has been going through in the final season. But at the same time, having moments of regret, maybe in the worst case she's thinking less about herself like she maybe feels like she doesn't deserve it some flashbacks to those moments in season four like the princess scorpio episode the fractures episode and i say this because catra went through such a dark stage in season four moments of darkness like this would have greatly contrasted sweet episodes of catra's growth like in shot in the dark or the final moments of taking control i would have liked to have seen a more psychological approach to the fright zone and i feel like a true part would have been benefiting for Catra especially. And overall, I think the most surprising aspect is the lack of writing. It's kind of weird, but I do understand that they want to go to new places, kind of like let go of the old ones. I just would have liked to have seen maybe, I'm not a professional screenwriter, although I would have liked to be, I would like to be one day. <laughs> I'm a filmmaker, mostly. But the idea of seeing King Micah, but as part of the hive mind in Bright Moon, in my mind, that is a really terrifying and powerful image that can really bring a lot of turmoil to Glimmer. That conflict between Glimmer and Micah in the failsafe episode up to the hard parts episode is fascinating. I would have liked to have seen more of that 
before. And maybe as well, kind of like serving as a parallel to an hypothetical episode of Catra returning to the throne room of the Fright Zone. It might have been very interesting as well to see Glimmer returning to Bright Moon, the place where she ruled. She was queen after all. She felt like she failed her people. She activated the heart of Etheria at the end of season four. So maybe she would have felt also like regret, also apologizing once again. Maybe it would have been very repetitive, but I feel like it would have been very realistic to see like that kind of regression because that progress of reparation of past errors in the human experience can be non-linear your mind can haunt you and i feel like that might have been enriching to both catra and glimmer still i really love the whole structure of the season we have like the don't go fanfic i would have loved to have seen that as a as an episode itself or parts of that fanfic service as extensions of other episodes having instead of 20 like 30 minute episodes i would have liked to have seen like an actual map <laughs> of the theory when i think about fantasy stories and all i think about lord of the rings with the middle earth or game of thrones with westeros or even avatar last Airbender it has like its own map i know we do see maps like holograms of it but you never really get a Sense, like a real sense of geography like where are they like how far are bright moon the fry zone where is the whispering woods how big is the whispering woods where's eberron where's drill where's irlandia i would have liked to have seen a map just a, just a map i'm really a, a nerd for that kind of stuff <laughs> more time with mara i would have loved to see more like of the friends of mara like the rogue squadron that was mentioned in return to the fry zone episode and her people and the actual first ones if there's a prequel maybe please happening in the Shira universe, please have it be about Mara. I know that it would end on a very tragic note, but taking into account that it's DreamWorks and it approaches stories and characters in a very mature way, that would be just a great gift. Mara is just such a fascinating character. My favorite characters, number five, characters, okay? Not people appreciating how they were well inserted into the story. Number five is Shadow Weaver, the best villain of the whole show. Loved how evil infuriating it is to the viewer such a deliciously also well-voiced acted character my god every single line from the humorous to the darkest of lines everything number four is glimmer i liked her in the first three seasons but i started to really really love her in the fourth and in the fifth season my favorite scene of glimmer really is her saving Micah. In a way, it is kind of eclipsed by Captain Doris' kiss. Gosh, like, Glimmer, th those moments with the music and the visuals, perfect final character arc for her. I absolutely adore just how ugly she got in season four, her relationship with Adora and Bo. Even more human she was in season five in her moments with Bo. I, I, I love that friendship and ultimately now relationship with Bo. It's fucking beautiful. Number three is Entrapta. I mean, she is the most lovable genius ever. She has such an infectious energy. I love to spend time with her and I love to see her getting emotional especially. Very fun to watch when she is like extremely intelligent and all, but I love her even more in season five when she got to open up herself even more. I, I, God, I love that. Number two is Adora. Amy Carrero just gave such a passionate performance. I think about the lines of Adora, they're good on paper, but I think Amy just elevated a lot of them to another level. The dramatic and the humorous scenes. Arguably the funniest character in the show, the one that gave me the most laughs. She has a great like chosen one storyline, like the subversion of that trope was beautifully handled in the show and I feel like that search for identity reminds me greatly of Rey in the Star Wars sequel trilogy, but done much better, much more maturely, a greater depth to her flaws. They're very similar in my mind and as a Star Wars fan, I was greatly pleased with Adora as a protagonist because she really did feel like in many ways like a Star Wars character. And the first one... Horde Prime, no I'm kidding, Catra. <laughs> Where do I even begin with her? I do not know. She is the best, like the magnum opus, and I mean that word, of the show. She is the greatest creation of the show. She's my favorite character. She's the best written character of the whole show. The most human character in the whole show. She goes through 
the biggest contradictions between what she wants and what she needs from the first episode to the last one i was completely captivated still do want to see more of her everything about her character works for me her progress in season five was just so satisfying i mean there's a reason why corridors is my favorite episode i think katra really might be my favorite character ever now she spoke directly to my soul this is cliche as fuck i don't care she shifted something in me and it made me understand a lot more that cycle of abuse that a person can go through but also how just hopeful it can be this character for a great deal of people i think it's a beautiful commentary on mental health how important katra is to many people it is to me she is to me i love her i love her and she's my queen here comes a big topic and i imagine it's very controversial in the fandom but it needs to be addressed It subverts greatly the idea of a redemption arc. It's so dark. It's so traumatic, essentially. That sacrifice of Shadow Weaver. Shadow Weaver is not redeemed. Instead of going with a route of making Shadow Weaver suffer for her consequences by the end of the show, the direction that they went with her is so much more bold and mature because it's basically an abusive mother figure consciously psychologically abusing one last time Katra and Adora. Shadow Weaver knows how much the last words to Katra mean to her. Katra, this whole time, was really looking for validation. We see that from the very first season. We see that throughout season two, especially in that Life Spinner episode. We see how that triggers Katra in Once Upon a Time in the Waste to open the portal. They're all interconnected in the story of abuse and trauma. Shadow Weaver, the whole show, is trying to pull them apart, is trying to antagonize them one against the other. Shadow Weaver's manner to show affection it completely contrasts impeccably in terms of writing with Angela's sacrifice. Angela said to Adora at the end of season three, take care of each other. What Angela was saying right there is basically the thesis statement of the key of Katra Adora. They have to take care of each other. That's what really pulled them apart from each other in the failsafe episode, for example, at the very end. She is arguably the most evil character in the whole show. When Shadow Weaver said, you're welcome to Adora and Katra, in her mind, it's like Adora and Katra have already said, thank you, believing you should appreciate what I'm doing right here. She is very consciously taking off her mask. So. Adora and Katra can feel something for her and traumatizing one, them one last time. And at the same time, it's so heartbreaking. The focus was Katra. Of course, we see Adora in pain, but when we see that shot of Adora like falling down to her knees, we pan up to Katra for a few seconds, crying. And we understand that that's really what she was looking for. Shadow Weaver's validation, the validation of her mother as fucked up and toxic, damaging that relationship was it's totally valid for them to feel that pain and that grief and that shock i did not know at first how to feel and why i was feeling the emotions i was feeling because i was genuinely concerned at myself when i said i cannot believe i'm feeling for shadow weaver but i think what really happened i was feeling what katra was feeling i had already the deepest connection with katra as much as shadow weaver is a figure of abuse, an evil bitch, basically. It was their mother figure. And that's what makes this scene in particular so emotionally dark and beautiful at the same time. This is never really addressed at the end of the of the show, but I really wonder how they are going to remember Shadow Weaver. Complicated, really, to describe it, but I do feel like that's the beauty of the scene. It's a fake redemption. And I applaud, really, Andy Stevenson and the rest of the creative team for going this direction. The scene plays out heroic music and all, even, and also, like, heartbreaking music, as a way of manipulation into feeling something for Shadow Weaver. The scene is such a great emotional challenge for the viewer, and I love to be challenged by movies and TV shows. Completely caught me off guard. It haunts me. It just made me feel for Catherine and Dora so much more. You do really get a complete full circle of that conflict 
really do understand how much Catherine and Dora have been affected by Shadow Weaver's involvement in their lives the whole way through. That leads me to Catherine Dora. Wow, um, possibly one of the greatest love stories ever. Not only in animation, like ever. There's so much complexity and beauty to that whole relationship. I, I, don't, I don't know where to begin. They have both ruined my life. <laughs> and thank you, thank you so much for a more iconic, exceptionally well-written and directed LGBTQI plus representation in a show like this. Capra Dora is ultimately the greatest conflict of the whole show and it's really the, the emotional core these characters Katrin and Dora they feel so human you actually believe their actions and they're ultimately flawed people and that's what makes them like much more tangible and much more real and by the end of the show you just want them to be together I really do understand their pain their fights it's a relationship that is beautiful that is also it can it can get ugly it can get messy it's very complicated but it's ultimately hopeful just filled with innocence that can be restored an innocence that was very tragically corrupted and damaged by the involvement of shadow weaver and i love how the show by season four you don't really get the idea at least that's what i felt that captain and Dora are going to get together they are more apart from each other than ever before and i feel like season four was the most excellent choice of direction in the show in terms of putting adora and katra in the darkest personal places they can be psychologically before they can meet together once again katra dora genuinely is the representation at least for me of hope for overcoming a cycle of abuse and trauma that drive and insistence to hold on to each other can really reciprocate yes like space lesbians save the universe how often does that happen <laughs> fucking love this and yes i love to see glimmer and bow together mermis and seahawk together and trapped in hordak is also one of my personal favorites that's i think that's my second favorite after catra dora such a beautiful beautiful ending to this show that very unlikely maybe a movie maybe a movie I need more. I need more. I need more space adventures. I need to see how Catherine and Adora work together as a couple and how the best friend squad really works together now and what other risks and obstacles and antagonists they might encounter. I really feel like it's at its best when it's a space opera show, basically. I, I fucking love it. Uh, the space arc, once again, yeah, the best part. I, I, I need to see more of that. So yes, this show has scarred me forever. Words like promise and stay, they're forever going to be ingrained in my mind. They, there are scenes that live rent free on my head. I fucking love the show. I fucking love the show. I hope this is not the last time I talk about this show. And last but not least, Andy Stevenson. I mean, you're not gonna watch this. Uh, I will be floored if you do, but <laughs> you, you can only dream so much. Amy Carrero, AJ Michaka, thank you. Thank you and everyone else involved. Thank you so much for bringing this show to life, for bringing these characters to life, delivering one of the greatest storytelling achievements in recent times thank you so much guys thank you for supporting me so much in this journey for being so patient in the uploads of these videos i know they have taken a long time i just wanted to make sure it just feels like worthy videos that, that like that, that they do justice to the show especially to this season i've also done the legend of korra arcane i'm going to continue the owl house has been hotel murder drones resume the dragon prince at some point i've also done some movie reactions and these are the next movie reactions coming up and if you can and want join now to become a youtube member or support in patreon thank you so much for watching really hope you enjoyed this reaction Last year reaction, <laughs> that's so sad. Please tell me down in the comments, what do you think about this episode? Your favorite episode, your favorite moment, your favorite character. Please let me know down your thoughts in the comment down below. We'll see each other in the next one.